I'm actually in Porto Santo Stefano right now, and the ship you can see is on its side. It's about 90 degrees in the water. It's in shallow water, and they're still, they haven't cleared the ship in the sense that they have gone all the way through every cabin. Um, all of the uh, passengers right now are accounted for in ter as far as they know, but they're still trying to get the definitive passenger list and locate um, for sure all of the people. There are, are six uh, confirmed dead. What, what's happened is when they um, evacuated the ship late last night, um, early this morning, they put the people in various small churches, in um, nurseries, in places on the island of, of Gidio, uh, which is right off Porto Santo Stefano, which is where uh, the, the ship ran aground. Um, and so these people are dispersed. Some of them have been sent to other towns. So they've, they've got a, 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 everyone they say, according to the Italian Civil Protection, is accounted for. But at the same time, they say they don't have a definitive list of all of the people's names, so they can't give us how many were from Italy, how many were from Germany, how many were from the U.K., and things like that. Um, people, the passengers that survived, describe a very nightmarish situation in which they were at first told that there was an electrical outage, and then they, it was very obvious to them, though, that the ship had actually hit something and the lights went out and then there were seven short beeps and one long one that uh, was the signal they had that learned I guess in the safety instructions before boarding the ship meant abandoned ship and so there was a panic situation people were looking for life both people were unsure how to get off the ship and it was listing very quickly on it onto its side as you're speaking Barbie we are seeing live pictures of the people uh, the cruise ship uh, folks who have been evacuated standing around with blankets in one area I guess near where they're being offloaded and brought to shore and yes you describe what had to be a, a terrifying scene I read somewhere they were having dinner when all of a sudden this happened and I even read that some people jumped into the ocean uh, do you know anything about that was it because the evacuation was taking so long Right. Well, the, the reason that the evacuation took so long is because of the, the way the ship was listing um, hampered many of the lifeboats. So they couldn't access those lifeboats because they were literally under the side of the ship that was going down. So that, that, that eliminated a large number of the, of the lifeboats that they could use. People were panicking and jumping into the shore, as far as I've heard from uh, the Italian reports. And I've seen some of those interviews done. I haven't interviewed any of those people that jumped into the water myself. Um, the rest of the people had to be uh, rescued by helicopter from the top of the ship late last night around midnight to about 3 a.m. was the was the, the moment of, of the, the most intense rescue efforts. Of course, it's dark. The water's not very cold. It's the Mediterranean. It's not a real real cold water, but it was still, you know, it's winter here, and it's, it's, uh, it's not exactly summer Mediterranean weather, so it, well, the water was cold. One of the six people who are confirmed dead actually was an elderly woman of 65 years old who died of a heart attack when, uh, because they said of the, the, the water, the shock of the water, um, things like that. The Italian authorities haven't given the actual cause of death for all six people yet except the one who died of a heart attack. So we don't know if they drowned, if they were somehow injured. Um, from the boat. That information I think we'll be getting uh, a little bit later today.